Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything's good with you guys. So today I have decided to react on Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive, live in 1979. So if you want to see my reaction, then please keep on watching. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never leave me without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights Thinking how you did me wrong And I grew strong And I learned how to get along And so young back Born out of space I just walked in to find you here With that sad look upon your face I should have changed that stupid lock I should have made you leave your key If I'd have known for just one second You'd be back to bother me Go on now, go Walk out the door Just turn around now Cause you're not welcome anymore Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with the body? Did 
I love this performance so much. Her voice is so powerful. I love the way she performs, you know, with so many emotions. You know, she's like giving you this attitude where she's like, walk at the door, you know, like, did you think I will crumble, you know, like, I loved the attitude. It was so badass. It was saying so well. Every note was absolutely perfect, gorgeous. Her voice is so rich and just adds so much more to the song. I feel like if anybody else would perform this song, I'm not saying that it would be bad. It's just, I think these. this is one of those songs where if she's performing it, then you're like going crazy. She's just giving this extra energy and extra, you know, storytelling. Like it's such a cool vibe. It's like a disco, but but not really jazz, but not really. But it's just like, I love when artists are playing with genres, many genres. And here I, I heard like two, three at least mixed together, which I adored. I love the arrangement of the song. It was a bit more different from the actual original recording, which me as a you know listener, it was so cool to see that because it always keeps things interesting. When you're singing live, that's the moment when you are creating these different types of performances to make it interesting for the listeners. And she definitely did that. She performed it in a different way, but not in the way where it changed the song completely. She still kept it, you know, the original in there, but there was just like these few places where she did extra or she did a little bit something different compared to the original, which I adored. I love that. So this female empowerment anthem is about moving on after a bad relationship. Over the years, it has taken on meaning for people who have overcome just about any difficult situation. But for the song's lyricist, Dino Fakiris, it was about getting fired by Mountain Records, where he was a staff writer, says Fakaris. They let me go after almost seven years. I was an unemployed songwriter contemplating my faith. I turned the TV on and there it was. A song I had written for a movie themed title Generation was playing right then. The song was performed by Rare Earth. I took that as an omen that things were going to work out for me. I remember jumping up and down on the bed saying, I'm going to make it, I'm going to be a songwriter. I will survive. I'm so happy that I saw this. It made my day, it honestly did. When you listen to the song, it's not possible not to sing or move along with the rhythm. It's not possible. If you're not doing that, there's something wrong with you. It was just so cool to see this. It was different and I like that. But this song is legendary and it's iconic. Like it's it's a, such a cool song. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction video, then please like my video, subscribe to my channel and until my next video, bye guys.